jazz, and what's more on WFDU HD2, TNAC. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. Die Dreaming from Reality Suite on 180 Minutes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and listening this fine Tuesday evening. And guess what? I have Reality Suite in the studio. They are downstairs in the VIP lounge eating some donuts and uh, chilling out before I bring them up here. It's going to be an awesome, awesome show. If you have any questions for Reality Suite, give me a call, 201-836-9211. That is 201-836-9211. And, uh, yeah, we'll ask them some questions. They're going to be doing an acoustic performance. They're going to be debuting a new song called Bury Me Alive. Very cool track. I got to listen to it early, and it's it's pretty damn good. So uh, while that's going on, I'm going to play some Skillet here on 180 Minutes. Here is Feel Invincible on 180 Minutes. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. A thing around so sure you'll never catch me. I think I'll hide so sure you'll never find me. You were never worth remembering anyway. So I'll keep walking the other way. So many memories wasted because of you. monster in me and it burns hungry I'm trying to survive my heart's been numb by so many caskets I'll bury myself alive no matter how hard I try I can't get by I'm playing the fire tonight shouldn't let it burn Figuring out I'm better off without you This wild fire It's getting higher I let it burn, I let it
That was playing with fire by Reality Suite Acoustic live in 180 minutes, a couple about a couple months back when they were here. And guess what? They are here again. Hey. Hello. Hey, hey. We're back. Hi. I didn't have your mics on. Hey, there. Oh, hey. Hi. We're now still we're back. Here. Now we're really back. We're back again. <laughs> I was wondering why I couldn't hear myself. They're back in the Saturday. Good afternoon. Again. Back. <laughs> Gotta get and the scream down. Yeah. They are one of the hardest working bands in New Jersey between playing shows, rehearsing, social media, uh, doing a video shoot, recording. Very active on social media, these guys. Extremely active on social media, these guys. <laughs> right. I think you're over that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they are reality sweet. Uh, I'm here with Kimmy, Joe, Antonio, and Brian. Hello. Everyone. Reality sweet. Howdy. What's going on? Hello. So, for, for people who don't know your voices, why don't you introduce yourself and tell the people who you are and what you do in the band. Hello. Uh, my name is Kimmy Hart. Um, I'm the lead vocalist for the band Reality Suite. This is Joe Guitars. I'm Antonio and I play the bass. Brian King drums. And we're Reality Suite. Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, uh, Reality Suite has been on 180 minutes in heavy rotation with Die Dreaming awesome. and and uh, Conspire and Skin, and you Thank were you. in here promoting the Skin album and. Uh, so, how has life been for you guys? Has reality been sweet for you guys? Absolutely. 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 Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be de debuting a new song, Bury Me Alive, uh, later tonight. And uh, how does that feel to have that song finally be done? Oh my god, we put so much work into it and into the video. And it, I'm so excited to finally be able to release it to the public. I think this time around was a lot of fun for us because we get to focus on one song rather than 12 songs, you know. Uh, it was a lot easier for to us, you know, to hone in and really have a, a focal um, focus. <laughs> have, like, you know, have good focus on what we're doing. And it was really fun, you know. Having the video pop at the same time is really interesting, too. I feel like we've definitely upped our game as well. You know, knowing that there's going to be more people hearing it, we a lot more time into the production the video just you know upping everything and their video comes out this friday october 21st and is it it's going to be on youtube it's going to be on facebook as well all the yeah it'll be embedded on facebook it'll be yeah, you'll, you'll find it everywhere on the website realitysuite.com very very cool now we're going to get to bury me uh, bury me live in a in a little bit and Brian, could you get a little closer to the mic? That's so why I gave him the headphones. <laughs> everybody wants to hear your sweet, sultry voice. Oh my God. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> what are you wearing? So, oh. <laughs> khakis? <PG>. No. <laughs> khakis. Uh, Jake from State Farm? Yeah. Aaron <laughs> from State Farm. So, uh, I know you guys, uh, you have your guitars out already. So, I wanted to get the acoustic jamming. Out of the yeah, way but... from from skin because skin you know has heavy rotation. People have been requesting "Die Dreaming" and a bunch of those songs. You know, cool. um, "Playing That's with awesome. Fire" is a, is another one that people that I just played. Uh, another one that people request a lot on the show. Awesome. Um, so, what are you guys gonna play for us? I think we'll start with "Die Dreaming" and to uh, what? Guess later. Well, let's just do die dreaming for for now. Sure. Let's oh. let's uh, do this. Okay. Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> what? I thought we were going to do it after a commercial break or something. <laughs> oh. Well, we don't have commercials. Oh, we're public oh, radio. Oh, you don't have your bass but, uh, in here. Or something. <laughs> but <laughs> your since Antonio doesn't have his bass. It's I, in the car. I, I, he oh, left really? It, he left it in the I just, bathroom. Because I didn't know. I thought we were just talking for now and then coming back. It's okay. <laughs> I still got plenty of Reality Suite to play. So okay. how about I play a couple of Reality Suite songs while uh, Antonio runs and gets his bass. And then we'll play live. We're going to play... Which song are we going to play? We're going to... Uh, uh, Die Dreaming? Yeah, Die oh. Dreaming. Yeah, we're going to play... Yeah, Die Dreaming. It's Antonio's not here acoustic. right now. <laughs> this is normal. He wasn't wearing his headphones, so therefore he heard nothing that was in the room. <laughs> what, so, what headphones? You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
It's happening. It's happening. Reality suite. Oh no. Are we live? Where's this Memorex? We are are live on 180 Minutes on the DAWR hand. I'm here with Reality Suite. Yeah. So, real quick, do you want to to explain what we have here? (laughs) They have uh, a voice, they have an acoustic guitar, they have a bass guitar, and they have a suitcase with some duct tape on it. And another piece of percussion that I'm not sure what it is, and I just hit my head on the mic. Well, and it's, okay. a, it's a yellow suitcase from the 70s. Right? I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to explain this. It so, looks like Curious George. To, to be, to be ex- extremely um, uh, detailed about this, this suitcase was found at my neighbor's uh, garbage, and it was brand wow. new when I found it. It was like fantastic. It's a, a 1974 Samsonite you know, suitcase. I'm like, what can I use this for? And I held on to it for the next 10 years. And then today, I decided this would be the perfect ideal opportunity to use it as a kick drum. And to hold all the rest of the equipment for acoustic drum set. So <laughs> here it is. That's, that is the, what you hear is the, the actual suitcase kick. And we're getting all the... <laughs> all of the... Uh, Such an innovator you are. The Thanks. video stuff, r- equipment, ready and... Ready to record because this this video or this acoustic video from 180 minutes is going to be on realitysuite.com eventually. I don't know when it's going to be on there, but somehow yeah. there's seven cameras in the room and not one of them is capturing the drummer. Just want to point that out. That's unbelievable. <laughs> That's Who needs a that drummer? Is. That, look, Brian, see, so you're in. Oh, damn. Oh. See? You see that? <laughs> look at you. Look, look at you. You're check, good. Check the hair. We're good. You're good. Check the hair. All right. Okay, so they're going to play. Uh, Die Dreaming here on 180 Minutes. I'm ready when you are.
Reality Suite live in the studio. Oh, yeah. Die dreaming on it 180 was minutes. That was awesome, guys. That's, that was, I that think that's good. my favorite in song person, on the record. It? So you, it's like <laughs> <laughs> so very cool. How, I I know I asked you this last uh, last interview, but for those who just tune in, just like Reality Suite, they're amazing. How did that song come about? We found it on the curb. Yeah, we found the master tape <laughs> next on to the, the suitcase. We found a master <laughs> tape on the curb, and we was like, wait a minute, that's ours. <laughs> Um, oh, <clears throat> how did that song come oh. about? How did it come about? Should I get a mic or not? Yeah, I think oh. Brian has a step in the mic. Hold on a second. We could do this. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, yeah, don't. If you move the mic, you'll mess here, up the this... camera angle. If you mess up the camera no, angle, no, no, no. I could just mic. jump back over here <laughs> in this corner. Social media. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. blast. Just slide over to the side. And they're very <laughs> active on social media. You can catch them okay. on Instagram <laughs> at Reality Suite. That's S U I T E. <clears throat> Reality Suite. Cool. So, uh, as we probably explained a dozen times, or probably last time, we work a lot with uh, Google Drive. And whenever we have song ideas, we'll post something on Google Drive, and somebody else will grab it, download it, work with it. So, in this particular instance, with Die Dreaming, um, Joey had put something on the drive. It was up there for a little bit, I think, and yeah, then... Probably a couple months. Yeah. And then um, I downloaded it. You know, sometimes we download something from one another, and it doesn't hit you right away. Sometimes it takes uh, some time to actually, you know, for it to pick up. So anyway, so I downloaded it, listened to it. I was inspired to write something. I had something I wanted to write, but um, was waiting for the right music to, to write it to. So he uh, uploaded something. I downloaded it, wrote some lyrics. Uh, I felt at first that there wasn't really a strong chorus yet. So I went back to Joey. I said, Joe, can you write a, a bigger chorus? Something that would be a little bit more melodic. Give me a, you know, a chord progression that I could write something really melodic to so he you know instantly went back wrote something put it back on the drive i downloaded it and then literally spent a few weeks just in the car writing a chorus you know that's i usually write in the car i'm sure kimmy has her own thing everyone oh everyone yeah has thing. no the car the car, <laughs> the car is yeah, yeah. definitely a thinking place mm -hmm. for, yeah. me. for me it's on a tractor you know you, you put the, <laughs> the you the just car. press record <laughs> like right, i literally yeah. just press record on my phone and i have so many recordings the so many recorder, ideas yeah. And lyrics that just come out of nowhere, mm -hmm. but yeah. And the lyrics that you wrote on for Die Dream were did they stay the whole time, or did Kimmy come in and change them? Well, they always change to a, to an extent, yeah. Because once once I put something, you know, this song in particular happened to come for me. So, you know, I put it on the drive. We all lived with it. We started rehearsing it. We played it out a few times. And finally, when it gets time to actual the official recording, then it's it's a whole nother process. And then it's a is this good enough? Is this right enough? You know, can we have suggestions to say, well, what if I do this instead? And then, you know, like the whole, um, I'd rather die dreaming than wake up screaming. That whole hook right there. Joey was, I, I don't think Kimmy was there that night. I think you were away on vacation. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joey had said to me, you know what, Kimmy should do some kind of ad-libbing at the end there. Something, you know, really s scat, like like who? Like <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and when he said that, I said, you know what? It might be a good uh, another excuse to sneak another hook in the song. So my my mind started going, and then I, I always liked the term "wake up screaming," and the song had just turned to "die dreaming." I forget what was it called before. Neon Nights. It Neon was called Nights, Neon Nights. Yep. Yeah. And I never really liked that title. I, I didn't like it. Yeah. yeah. And then it just kind of like yeah morphed. Into yeah. yeah. There's always working titles. Yeah. And that exactly. was the first thing that came into my head, and I didn't really like the association with. Um, Black Sabbath. I like Black Sabbath, but there's a song called Neon Ice by Black Sabbath. And then who else has that song? Demi Neon Lovato? Ice? I think. Somebody? Has, no, someone has. No. 
Um, there's a dance song. There's neon another light. song. Yeah, Isn't it's, there it's another neon light neon, song? Well, there's Neon Trees, I think. <laughs> I don't know. No. That's a band. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's a band, band, right? Neon Lights. But um, anyway, so yeah, so I morphed into Die Dreaming, and then I had the phrase, Wake Up Screaming, that I stole from a Paul Stanley song. But um, this is that my kiss? that's my Kiss reference. Right there. Oh my God, he's wearing and, uh, a Kiss shirt, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so Joey said, hey, why don't you, do, you know, throw something in there? I said, no, well, I'll just write another hook. And then anyway, just that's what happened. And how is it for you, Kimmy, to approach something with lyrics like that are already written? Is it more difficult for you, or does it put more pressure on you? Um... For me, I think it is a little bit more difficult because, like, I, it's not something that I wrote, so I have to learn it and then try and interpret it, interpret it how I would do it and, you know, perform the song and, like, how I feel. Like, I try and relate to the lyrics and, you know, kind of get, like, grasp my own way in the song and just try and, you know... Being, but that's how something I becomes unique. That's how it comes. Yeah, it just unique, ends you know? up like sometimes I'll put my little innuances in there, and then like it just literally transforms. If you were to listen to it from when we first like from the raw demo to the final cut, it's totally transformed into right, something right. new because we all put something into it. And Antonio is is amazing with melodies as well. So you have four people in the band that are always putting their two cents into the melody. So you it know, continues whatever. Continues to morph. That's why it yeah. continues to change as until the end, until we actually record it. If we don't record it, it's going to continue to change some more. Right. So we got to put a stake in the you ground. You got to shoot it point. in the foot to kill it. Yeah. 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 Kill it. That's it. And then say done. Yeah. And was no cons- was conspire the same kind of way? Was it long? Was it longer or shorter process for you guys to come up Joey's with conspire? Longer. Um, conspire. Well, is, it, conspire. It, it, uh, me and Antonio actually got together. And uh, Sorry. how did that happen? Like, <laughs> we drunk one night. Drunk I, you know what? Yeah. Yes, I was. Yes. <laughs> that Conspire one was. was Conspire um, was written when I was drunk. <laughs> and, wait a minute. Was Conspire the you were drunk, or was Conspire that I was drunk? No, skin, we were never drunk no. at the same time. <laughs> skin, you were drunk, and I was sober. Oh, okay. And yeah. Conspire, yeah. I was drunk. I didn't know that. And yeah. When you would think it was the opposite yeah. way around, but no. Okay. So yeah. So. <laughs> Well, there's lots of great recordings and demos of Kimmy and Antonio. One of them being drunk or the other one being drunk and just writing songs. See how we write, kids? I mean, there's either <laughs> no, liquor no, or brownies no, no, involved. No. It's unbelievable. No, don't drink. It's <laughs> bad. Don't, don't do drugs, brownies. kids. <laughs> the PSA from Reality Suite. But once once the box set is done and, you know, another four or five years, we have to do the monster box set with all the demos. <laughs> you, you hear. We're going we're gonna to release eight tracks, so. <laughs> They're coming back. Nobody knows what eight tracks are anymore. <laughs> They will. Barry knows what eight tracks are. Come on. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Kinda. I learned about them in college. Let me Google that. Hold on. <laughs> they're only available at Kmart. <laughs> and both these songs are from their Skin album, which is available on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon. Is there a physical CD copy of it? CD Baby. CD Baby. Okay. CD Baby. Oh, and you can also order them directly through the website. Signed. Signed. Yeah. Signed. Yes. Signed. Well, and do you have them at shows? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Yes. And yeah. speaking of which, they're playing on November 5th at the San Hope House in San Hope, New Jersey. Uh, 45 Main Street, I believe, is the address. November 5th. Oh, no. November 5th. It's a Saturday. So if you like this song, um, the song that they're going to play right now, Acoustic, called Conspire, or any of the other songs that I'm going to be playing, go check them out. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. With Reality Sweet, one of the hardest working bands in New Jersey. <laughs> and uh, they're pretty damn good at acoustic music, too. They're going to be playing a song <laughs> called Conspire. We're, we're the hardest working and minimum wage. <laughs> <laughs> they're the McDonald's of. <laughs> yeah, no, McDonald's is 15 an hour now. Really? Wow. Yeah. I got to start working at McDonald's. Uh, we yeah. represent the sweatshops of all New Jersey bands. Wait, <laughs> for real? Yeah. Wait, how much? What? They make they, fifteen an hour. Damn! Wow. My job now. What? But only in New York City, though, not in New Jersey. What? Wow. <laughs> but still, I mean, if you're working at Times Square, you're getting fifteen an hour. Wow. Yep. Okay. Well, they're the McDonald's of Bramus or Teaneck, New Jersey. No sponsor, and uh, <laughs> no sponsor at all. So they're gonna play Inspire right here on 180 minutes. One, two, three. <laughs>
your knife's my way Never hesitate Won't control my fate You're not winning Breathe my fire gates You've got hell to pay Don't tell look my way You're not winning You're not winning You're You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. Conspire. Uh, lyrically, what was the meaning behind Conspire? Conspire. Okay, so I wrote Conspire because I was in a situation at a workplace where... Um, just everyone was gossiping and there was a lot of drama and there's a lot, a lot of back talk and there's a lot of fakeness and um it just came out of something like that like where you're not winning like you're talking behind my back you're, you're you know you're saying these things and into my face you're nice but like that's not very nice so it just came out of like that background in respect to drama and gossip and that happens a lot in the music industry. How do you guys keep out of that? Um, well, we, we work at McDonald's. So <laughs> <laughs> pretty simple. <laughs> well, I mean, it, we're pretty, we're very independent. So everything we do, we do ourselves, which means no one has a say in anything what we do, pretty much. So we don't really have such issues, you know, as far as that goes. You know, people just dig us, and if they don't, they look the other way. <laughs> okay, and you shouldn't look the other way because yeah. these guys are awesome. They're playing at the Stanhope House, November fifth. That's a Saturday. Uh, it's a Halloween show. So are you guys dressing up? Oh man, I didn't even Good think question. about that. Sure. <laughs> yeah, we, really we were discussed. discussing it. Yeah, but I don't That's even know what I'm going to be for Halloween yet. And I love Halloween. It's my favorite holiday ever. I I, I know what I'm going to do. And I'm still trying. Nikki Six. What are you going to be? I want to be the Toast Head. You know the uh, the app. On the, the app filter on Snapchat with the, the toast. <laughs> I, I really want to be the toast head. Like the how you put like the kitty's face in like uh, the toast with a hole in it. On Snapchat, you know the the know. app. Snapchat's an application <laughs> on your phone. Can you and, your and when there's a filter, and it's an app Thanks, filter. <laughs> and one of them is the toast. You never saw my toast face. No. It's hilarious. And Reality Suite is on Snapchat at Reality Suite, and. Uh, Antonio, I know you're on uh, uh, what's it called Snapchat. What's your handle? So if people want to see the toast face, Planet Antonio, Planet Antonio. And how? Why Planet Antonio? It's a long, drawn out, stupid thing. I don't know. I came up with it way back in the day. It, it, there's real no meaning to it. Uh, I just I stuck with that name for everything I do socially. Okay. So it's my social name, Planet Antonio. Okay, and back to the show at the Stanhope House. Now, uh, since it's a Halloween show, I was going to ask you if you guys are going to dress up, but also, are do you expect fans to dress up for the show? Will they get like a discount or anything? If they... mm. That's a great question. I hope people dress up, because when I dress up, I might look a little funny. <laughs> <laughs> if nobody else is dressed up. <laughs> I think it is a dress up. I think it is yeah. a Halloween it's party. Yeah, so. yeah. awesome. I'm hoping okay. that people are going to dress up. Okay, so if you want to be uh, the toast face, and uh, I, I gotta be, to I have to be toast face. I'll show you the clip later. Okay. You should all be Snapchat filters. <laughs> be awesome. <laughs> well, there is the one funny. with the flowers. That's real easy, right? Oh yeah. You That's just easy. put on a lot of white makeup on your face and flowers, because everything's like, it, 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 I don't know why, but it whitens out your face with that one, right? It makes you look like magical, like a fairy. Yeah. yeah. I don't want that. Mystical. <laughs> I want to be toast. <laughs> <laughs> and do you have uh, tricks up your sleeve, trick, uh, tricks or treats for that show? Uh, treats. Uh, we're going to be playing a new song. Yeah, we're going to be playing a new song. Thank you, Brian. We're playing a new song. Is it Bury Me Alive or is it a new, 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 new song? Mm. Wow, that sounds cool. Yeah. 
it, we have a couple in the making right now. We do have a couple so lined up yeah. on the back burner. TBD. In the drawing board. Yep. Oh. I'm excited about them. Okay, you guys are like The Walking Dead. You give no spoilers <laughs> at all. Even the last time I interviewed you, no spoilers. You're, you're, you're worse than, than Rick Grimes, I swear. <laughs> I gotta get the exclusive. Well, yeah. I'm off the air, maybe. Okay. Okay. Very cool. Darren, you heard the song like two weeks ago, so don't say you didn't get any. That's yeah, yeah actually, you yeah. get the you are the, ex- <laughs> you are the exclusive person to play our song for the first first time. Yes, I am. It's called "Bury Me Alive." Now, uh, a video is coming out on um, this what? Friday. You want to sit here? Yes, I would like to sit there too. <laughs> <laughs> October twenty first. Uh, now it gets but, uh, weird. No, I'm kidding. Because <laughs> Brian needs to jump in and say so something. "Bury Me Alive." Not many people know. Well, people know about it now, but. Um, not many people are in the know like me who have heard the full song. Now, where was it recorded, and how did it come together? Great question. Brian can answer. Uh, well, as usual, we, we, self, we self-produced ourselves. It was recorded at Hinchcraft Studios. That's where we do everything, pretty much. Um, soup to nuts. <laughs> soup and nuts, yeah. Soup and nuts. We actually, sometimes we serve soup to each other, so... And um, no nuts, no soup for you. In, in actuality, this song could have been on Skin because it was begun that long ago. It was on the, the drive that long ago. Mm-hmm. Um, it just, you know, when we were finishing Skin, it just it didn't make sense to have to invest more time into a, an eleventh track or you know just to expand it. So we we put it on the back burner. We knew we had something special, so we figured you know we'll release it when it's time. And um, you know, as we were supporting Skin throughout 2016, we we decided mid year that we definitely wanted to get something out before the end of the year because you know, uh, September would be the, the one-year anniversary of Skin and there were a lot of new fans coming on board and there were a lot of fans from before so we w- kind of wanted to give something new to the fans before 2016 was over. So this, was, this made sense. And where are you drawing inspiration from for Bury Me Alive? I, I work at a graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. He yeah. <laughs> sort of does one of his many words? jobs. Formaldehyde. M- What's the word? What? Formaldehyde. Formaldehyde. <laughs> what is that? It's Formaldehyde. his cologne. Oh, <laughs> the cologne, cologne that he uses. It sounds like it's a poison or something. Uh, I'll explain later. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a preserve. Yeah, it's preserve for your body. Oh, yeah. that's for what it is. Yeah, it's formaldehyde. Oh. And you share, uh, you share a common thread with Jonathan Davis from Corn because he also worked in a morgue before. Oh, wow. He was in Corn. Crazy. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not. No, <laughs> no that was disturbing. Yeah, it's okay. That was the sickness. The wrong song. <laughs> Try, wrong band. <laughs> wrong band. There we go. <laughs> that thing he does, you know. Well, s- similar to uh, Die Dreaming, you know, I, th- this one. You know, Joey came up with the music a while back. I wrote lyrics to it a while back. And again, like Kimmy was saying, it, it morphed from one topic to another and one title to another. And uh, We this, changed a few lines in there, too. Yeah. And really, yeah. Um, it, you know, it deri- derived from you know a friend that I was driving back and forth to work. And um, basically, you know, she was going through a breakup with her boyfriend. You know, couldn't let it go. And the song's really about... Uh, sobering up and realizing that the person that you're that you're holding on to isn't worth it, isn't worth the time, and it's that epiphany, 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 epiphany <laughs> that epiphany. you're realizing you're not worth it. And very cool. How about I play the song right now? Ooh. World premiere. Oh, Whoa. world premiere. Here we go. Anticipation. You have the song. Uh-oh. Do you have a I do have the song. How did you get the song? Uh, a little birdie gave me with a kiss T-shirt. Did you download it from the... a torrent? Was it on a torrent site? Yeah, it was uh, brianking.com. Oh, brianking.torrents.com. Yeah, something like that. But yeah, here is Reality the world premiere. First time. Barely alive. First time on 180 Minutes. That was Reality that. Suite with Bury Me Alive, the world premiere on 180 Minutes. And uh, if you notice on the end of that track, 
You can hear Brian's son on there screaming. Yes, he was. He was so happy that, you know, he just wanted to be there. If, if you hear the isolated track of just the drum track, he was running around the entire song. And he was bouncing around, he was skipping, he was jumping, screaming. And uh, I stopped playing and he kept going. And that was, that was his, ah, his cameo. <laughs> Let go! And that makes it more special, you know? It, it's a time capsule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? So, how, how do you think you've grown as songwriters from skin to now with Bury Me Alive? He gained about 14 pounds. <laughs> yeah, we all gained about 14 pounds. Oh. <laughs> Thank God he wasn't pointing at me. <laughs> I did not gain... I, I don't gain weight as much. I, I let, uh, I'll put my two cents in now and let you guys... I, I feel like we've become a lot more comfortable... In our own skin, no yeah. pun intended. <laughs> I feel I like um, on this track we didn't feel like we had to compromise. Um, compromise. Not that we ever have compromised, but I just think, like even with the the whole solo part, the extended solo, we've never done anything like that before, and that was fun. Just saying, what extended solo? Well, well of course, it's, <laughs> there's a <laughs> lengthy guitar solo normal, every you know, song. Eight bar solo, but, man. But, uh, extended about it. No, we, yeah, we were going for something there, and I, yeah. I'm glad we yeah. did that. That yeah, was yeah. that was exciting. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, as, as a band, I mean, if we just keep getting tighter and tighter, um, know what each other's kind of what we look for and, you know, how we would react to something. So it, it just it just works. And what do you hope Bury Me Alive conveys to listeners? Start with Kimmy. Um, I hope that... World peace. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> World peace. I know you want to say something. I, I'm sorry. I, I hope. You off, I, honestly, but. I hope that okay. everybody likes it and people can take away what you know they personally in their lives from it in a positive way, in a good way. I hope that it somehow, somehow helps people. Somehow. There you go. And from a musical <laughs> standpoint, hopefully, it's just you know, it's just a driving tune good tune to work out you know with and Antonio and (laughs) (laughs) hope people can jam to it there we go like it's music it's rock and roll we nailed it this time yeah exactly (laughs) it's rock and roll roll. let's bring it back it's just a sample of what we're going to do in the future just a little very cool and that song you should always have in your car on full blast yes I'm, I'm telling you right now now since you said stuff that you're coming out with is there other stuff that is yes. going to be coming out soon yeah. if, if well. you're is there another album eh? mm, well. so do you have a bluetooth uh mind because i could trans transcribe my thoughts of the songs that we have telepathically, uh, telepathically. <laughs> i haven't worked out you know since we're public radio we haven't worked that out yet oh so because yeah. I'm really good at transporting. I think you're on to something, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we might not be far off from that. Yeah, was that, was that <laughs> like sign language? Bluetooth <laughs> telepathic. There's actually a girl from Argentina that is, is signing for uh, Bury Me Alive at this very moment. Oh, wow. Yeah, she uh, awesome. she sent me a message. She's like, you know, do you got, I want to do one of your songs. Can I do Die Dreaming? I said, well, if you're going to do Die Dreaming, you might as well do the new song. So I sent it to her, and she's actually learning the sign language to it, and She'll be posting it to wow, that's like cool. oh, that's fifteen so or something. Cool. I think it's awesome. Yeah, right. that's really Argentina. That's awesome. Um, now you have a video coming out this Friday, October twenty first for Bury yes! Me Alive. Yes. Creative Link, Creative Link Productions. Excited. We have to give props to Creative, Creative Link Productions. Link, they rule. They Creative are. Link what was the it like best. working with them? Like they're a new upstart, right? Upstart video Star, yeah. production company. What was it like working with them? They Phenomenal. were great. They were awesome. They're amazing people. They're on point. They're hardworking. They just they came up with the concept for the video. They're they're just amazing. The whole team. We had a lot of fun working with them. It was like you know we've known them for years. We worked harder on this like the the five days of shooting that we did. Like it was five days, right? It was like two long five. days or three long days. I would yeah, say we, we definitely spent up two months, <laughs> yeah, three months. Yeah. Just every well, the, I said the three longest days when we were nonstop was like. We've never worked. I've never sweated as much. I've never, you know, been that physically, you know, active. <laughs> uh oh. I'm kidding. What does that say? Yeah. <laughs> no, you know, at a video, we've never put this much time into a video, so it's just like, you know, I don't know if we're ever gonna top it. Oh yeah. We're, we're just gonna no, have to break of course up. we'll top we'll it. Have to break well, up I mean, we will. <laughs> but no, it's it's hard to top. It's. Th- well, I put like it this way: we cool. saw the preliminary uh, quick review of it, and we were blown away. 
We're absolutely blown away. And uh, with that, is there any spoilers on the concept of the album? Uh, I mean, the video? Spoilers? Uh, yeah, about what the concept of the video well, is. Well, uh, Darth Vader is Luke's father. Uh, Frodo, <laughs> Frodo dies in page 931. <laughs> no, okay. I, mean, we I could did talk my own about stunts. It. Yeah, of course you could talk about it. Can we talk about it? Okay. There's a heist um, involved. Something was stolen. Um, we don't know what it is. Um, something very important, and I'm trying to make like a like a trade deal with these um, with the bikers, and um, it's like a trade deal goes wrong. I don't want to spoil the whole video. But basically, it's 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 kind of badass. We're like running on the run. It's so badass. It's crazy badass. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of costume changes and a lot of um, hair changes. I, I, I Joey jo- jo- almost died three times. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I was gonna ask there was about almost that. some fatalities. I, I put my life in Kimmy's hands <laughs> with, in in this video. I mean, it, it was just something that I typically wouldn't have done with a three thousand dollar guitar around me, but it happened. It went great. Put my life in her hands, and it worked out. I didn't kill him. He he ain't dead yet. yet. There was no stunt double. No, it was me. We can't afford stunt doubles. And since you released a teaser, I was going to ask you about that. What was it like being on that truck hood with Kimmy driving? And how scared were you? Nerve-wracking. I mean, every moment, I'm just like, you know, hanging on. I had no no harness, nothing. It was just... We probably should have thought that Joe, over. Have you Joe, and... have you seen the Instagram post with Kimmy driving with no hands? Yes. And you on the hood? And I was Yeah, sweating. you didn't know that, did Might you? Might I add, we picked the most rockiest, bumpiest, <laughs> unstraight, hilliest, dirt road, windiest... Is that a word? Ever. Hilliest? I don't, I don't know, but... <laughs> Didn't make I, any I, I had cold sweats that day. I mean, it was... <laughs> had cold sores. We, we cold sweats and cold like sores. Like a, a smooth road. A rash. <laughs> Abrivia. And you said you, you did uh, you did five days. You were at uh, plenty of locations. Where were where did you film? Uh, we wow, started at Patterson. the art factory in Patterson, but not only like one room, but we did three rooms, mm-hmm. and then they they did the almost like the whole place with Kimmy, just Kimmy and the uh, director. And the cameraman, and uh, where else? Um, There's a bar in Secaucus, Sammy's place, Charlie's, Charlie's place, Charlie's place, yeah, mm-hmm. in Secaucus, which you were at actually. Then, Darren Fisher was an extra on our on the yes. set. Yes, yes, I might make the cut. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Friday, mm-hmm. and then a random parking lot near there, near that bar. <laughs> yes, a random parking lot, and then um, somewhere in the nature. In the middle of nowhere. What was that, what was that sure. called? Jefferson? Jefferson? Definitely Jefferson. By Jefferson High School is where by, we shot some of the scenes. Yeah. And there's a field by Jefferson High School that we also shot at. But then, where was that, that reservoir? Something oh, reservoir. Oh, yeah, it's Split Rock. Split Rock Reservoir. There we're at Split yeah. Rock. And which one was your favorite to shoot at? Other than the guitar solo on, oh, on that the was, hood. That topped it for me. <laughs> that was... I, I, I kind of like the whole the the beginning scene actually where we we individually have um, oh yeah there's sections where you'll see on the video we we are called upon and uh, I think we all did some cool fun stuff. We actually did acting in this video, which we never thought we would do. Did you fall off the top? Of I the... did a couple times, you but did? landed on my feet. Like a cat. Guitar, yeah. Guitar couple, never hit the ground. A couple times in the river. I didn't run him <laughs> over. Reservoir. Yes, <laughs> yes. Well, what Antonio was talking about, the intro, there, there's like some acting going on with the band members, or loose acting. I don't mm. know if you would call it acting, but <laughs> it originally each each of us was probably about a 30 second to 40 second piece, and obviously that would have made it a terribly long video, and people probably wouldn't have sat through it, so it was edited down to, I don't know, like maybe a 20 second piece among the three of us. Yeah, so, um, I still say we should do a whole minute of just us acting because it was a lot of fun, really. Oh yeah, yeah. And there is pictures of you with the three guys in the band with masks on, and then just Kimmy. Uh, I'm assuming that's from the heist. Where did you get those masks, and what what do they do for the video? We can't talk about that. Okay. No, we we can't. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> our record City? our record label said that we can't speak about that. They right took now. them back. They they own the the masks. <laughs> It's for the box set. They're all the white. <laughs> They're all white masks, and you can find reality on social media where anywhere. 
<laughs> everywhere. everywhere. RealitySuite.com, yeah. YouTube, Instagram. Facebook. Grandma's house. Snapchat. Snapchat. That would be a really funny <laughs> social media name. Just Grandma's house. Grandma's house. Yeah. I made you some dinner. Now watch this video. <laughs> It's and, lovely. And just because I can, I'm going to play Bury Me Alive again. Oh, yeah. Again? Because what if someone finds head. out? That means we're getting twice the publishing? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No, what if no. someone finds out? <laughs> They're going to find out. They're going to learn today. Here's Bury Me Alive by Reality. You know the song by the You guys end. are going to find out. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. <laughs> So that fun. was Reality Suite with Bury Me Alive, the world premiere. Well, the second time of the world God. premiere. Don't Sec- call it a comeback because they're, All right. they're back. For years. And that song was for, for Sharon out there in Lodi. Yeah. Who loves Woo. Reality Suite. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's out there for you, baby. I love you. Babe. <laughs> yeah, babe. babe. I got it's not about you, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to catch Reality Suite, they're playing at the Stanhope House, 45 Main Street in Stanhope, New Jersey, on November 5th. It's a Halloween show. Bring your costumes. Bring your costumes. Don't be the cheese face because... Or <laughs> no, it's toast. Toast. He wants toast. To toast. 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 I'm the cheese. <laughs> I'm oh. the keeper of the cheese. Oh. He knows it. You're going to be the cheese? I now, be. Oh, wow. If I could still slap my guitar around me, I'll be the cheese. Brian's going to be the other toast? I'll be the, the French toast. <laughs> no, I'm toast. Be the waffle. Uh, why? Why am I a waffle? <laughs> why am I the waffle? I'm always the waffle. I, I want to be toast. Anyway, we were talking about uh. <laughs> okay. Anyway, we should we fill everybody in on the inside joke that's going on in the studio that we're we're sending memes back and forth. Um, is that, is that <laughs> no. what a meme is? That's a meme, right? No, um, that's uh, emoji. It's an emoji. Emojis. Emoji. My bad. My bad. So the the line in the song used to be, "Tell your mother, I lost my soul in Lodi." So, and we, we used to live in Lodi. <laughs> so, come here. I mean, me and Sharon used to live in Lodi. So it's funny because she thinks that the song is about her, but it's actually not about her. It's about some other person. Some other person who lived in Lodi. And she's texting me, "Stop! No, I'm going to kill you." Should okay. That be on the air? <laughs> well, what happened That's was a threat. We, we can't have that on the air. Oh, I'm because, sorry. Oh, no, no, I'm not like that. Right, turn off the phones. And speaking of Lodi, have you ever been to Lodi Pizza? Not a sponsor. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Good stuff, yes. man. They're Is it really? Oh. The Sicilian. Yeah. The, the white pizza, the Sicilian with the onions and the anchovies. Oh, to die for. Yes. Awesome job. You know, I was mentioning to these guys over here. Um, oh, we're not promoting. Yeah, there we go. I was mentioning to the guys over here that uh, I don't know if you've been there, but these two haven't been to Veggie Heaven yet. I've never been to Veggie Heaven. Are you kidding me? You guys, do you want to go? My hips don't lie. Do you want to go after? (laughs) 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 I I suggest that after the show, we should all go there. Okay. What is Veggie Heaven? Veggie Heaven's right here on Cedar Lane. It's, um,. It's vegetable heaven, basically. They have kibasi. It's steak? it's kind of like a it's an Asian fusion thing, but they all they serve is veg like it's a vegetarian place. So there's things on there that says like you know like chicken teriyaki, but they substitute the chicken with like tofu or something. Cool. It's actually really good though. Like even if you're not a vegetarian, it's actually really good. Turn it off. He said no. Come home. <laughs> <laughs> and, and since you're all from New Jersey, besides Lodi Pizza and besides Veggie Heaven, where do you guys like to eat around here? Lodi. <laughs> Lodi Pizza. Oh, yes. oh, for pizza. Uh, McDonald's. Uh, for for uh, pizza? Uh, well, in particular, juicy pizza. platters. Juicy platters. <laughs> yeah. Juicy platters. La- yeah. Lounge Forty Six has great sushi. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Lounge Forty Six in Totowa. Been a long time. What we're Are talking about eating, right? <laughs> yeah. I just, well, yeah, just, I just, I just <laughs> like sushi. Mount Fuji sushi. Well, oh, Fuji weekly. Really I'm no, a big, weekly. I'm a big fan of uh, the Quick Check uh, subs. They're only like two ninety nine. They're amazing. <laughs> it's very nice. Now your show at Stanhope House is a Halloween show. What are some of your favorite Halloween? Or actually, you had a Halloween show previously that you were dressed up as Motley Crue. Uh, correct. We were. Yes. Yeah. And Antonio did... Bring, brings bad memories for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And his limbs. <laughs> Would you like to elaborate? Yeah, sure. 
Uh, so, I don't know if I talked about... Did we talk about this last time? I'm not sure. Oh, you... Uh, vaguely. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, I fell off the stage after the show. Uh, we, we played a show, and it was fine. But then I went to go introduce the second band, which was technically Kiss. Uh, and I went up and pretended to be, like, the, the guy who says the introduction for them. And when I went up to jump off stage, I would have been fine... But there was a speaker above me, and it knocked me out, and I landed terribly wrong, and it kind of bent my knee like the wrong way completely, and I couldn't walk for like three months. Ooh. Yeah, it was really bad. It's crazy. So don't jump off the, the stage, kids. Yeah, don't. Nope. <laughs> and after after the Halloween show on November 5th, what else, what's next for Reality Suite? December 22nd at Dingbats. Yeah, we are we opening really up. Yet, but that's that's definitely the next big one. That's uh, <laughs> uh, Don Jameson will be there. Eddie Trunk. Uh, there's, there's it's a hol- holiday bash or something that's going it's on. Yeah, uh, that metal show. Yep. Uh, holiday bash. show yeah. bash. Yeah, I'm super excited for it. Very yeah, cool. ding bats. And we'll be writing more. Yes, that's and awesome. working on our new stuff. Very, very cool. Yeah. And you're definitely playing a new song besides Bury Me Alive at the next show? <laughs> yeah, th- th- our next song is Dig Us Up. <laughs> <laughs> Dig Us Up Dead. <laughs> Cremated. <laughs> Cremated. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. <laughs> WFDU 89.1 FM and HD2. This is Reality Suite from New Jersey. They have a show on November 5th at the San Hope House in San Hope, New Jersey. And they have a video coming out that you need to see on this Friday, the 21st, for their song Bury Me Alive. And this, this one goes out to all the Reality Suite fans here. Here's Bury Me Alive, the world premiere. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 180 minutes. <laughs> you like my segues. You do. 3.0. Here it is. 3.0. You're listening to 180 minutes on WFDU.FM HD2. That was the world premiere of Reality Suites. Bury me alive on 180 <laughs> minutes. The third. Premiere because uh, I'm the only one who can play the song right now. Right, that many times. That many times, and I can play it again if you really want to, because I'm the man on the show. We we haven't heard it enough. (laughs) (laughs) So, uh, anyone you want to shout out that was in the video? Oh yeah, regarding the video, we uh, one of our friends when when the director's Creative Link Productions were putting together the. The um, what's that called in the very beginning? The screenplay? No, the uh, storyboard. The storyboard. When they storyboard. were storyboarding, uh, they say they said they needed a creepy guy in a scene. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the actual yes. word. And we, need a, we need a creepy guy who's gonna hit on Kimmy. So <laughs> we uh, we had a friend who we knew wasn't really in person all that creepy, but we felt he would. He was good. He was good looking enough to not be repulsive but he could be creepy enough that he would be the good looking creepy guy that was just creepy he just played the part well he played for yeah. yes he, he wore the it. shirt well he, he wore the shirt well it. can we tell that story <laughs> 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 all right now nah, should we go there what the, about the shirt oh the shirt the shirt made it <laughs> the yeah. shirt that we in the bar him. scene yeah, yeah the, the shirt scene. he was <laughs> You gotta see the shirt. You just gotta see the video. I mean, there's no way to explain the shirt. Well, we had a special fan. He was a really nice guy. Yeah, we, we had a very special fan, and uh, he uh, circumstances led to another, and he doesn't come around anymore. But he gifted one of us a shirt from three hundred dollars shirt from like Indonesia, something like that, right? Yeah, Indonesia. Yeah, in, in a, to yeah one of those? Mm-hmm. I don't know where. Can't hear you from the side. And so, yeah, so he uh, <laughs> he gifted us a shirt, like Brian said, and uh, he, Mike wound up, you know, wearing it for the video, and he just wore it well and played the part, and he, you'll see the video on Friday. He hits on Kimmy, and uh, he did a great <laughs> job. He just killed it. He killed the scene. I, I do want to give a big shout-out to James Reginald. 
uh, Jimmy, who uh, helped us with the scenes with the motorcycles. With the biker scenes. The biker yes. scenes. Great, great setup. Uh, him and his son, Conan, um, which is really, really cool that they, they helped out. We, we want to thank we want to thank all the fans out there honestly especially the fans outside of the United States I think that we are so excited to introduce our music to people all over the world we're really really happy about that so we super thank those people out there thank you for listening yes thank you for listening and uh, enjoy bury me alive and uh, as Antonio was saying uh, all of our new friends in Brazil Argentina uh, I know I'm going to get a lot of stuff for, for forgetting, forgetting countries, yeah, but so worldwide, um, New Zealand, Japan, the Netherlands, Poland, the Netherlands, Italy, yes. Japan, everywhere. Um, also, uh, we might be in the works of uh, one of our songs going to be in Portuguese. Oh. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we are working Used on to us. <laughs> Definitely stay tuned for <laughs> That's that. That's a spoiler. <laughs> That's a spoiler. <laughs> and don't forget to check... Bury Me Live Out, the, the video and song will be available on Friday, uh, the 21st. Uh, go to wearecreativelink.com for the video, and the song will be on iTunes, Spotify, Amazon, uh, Google Play. Google Play. So if you, if you download the single and you do a screenshot, post it, tag us, and we'll work out a time where we can Skype you. We, we do a band practice Skype session, so you get to see us band practice live. Nice. Huh. Maybe I'll play it again. Oh, <laughs> four times four a time is, yeah. The wave is going to blow up like a Note 7 if you do that. Oh. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. <laughs> <laughs>
That was Reality Suite with Bury Me Alive, the world premiere for Point Out Ooh. on 180 Minutes. I want to thank Reality Suite for coming in. They're an awesome, awesome band that you need to check out November 5th at the Stand Home House 45 uh, Main Street at, uh, in Stand Home, New Jersey. It's a Halloween show. Definitely check them out. You know, download their their new album or their new song and download their album Skin. It's uh, really, really good. And uh, yeah, uh, I want to thank those guys again for coming in and rocking my world in a completely intimate acoustic setting. You're listening to 180 Minutes on WFDU.FM HD2.